All right, guys, welcome back to another Wednesday installment. We are in a very remote part of Nevada. We just got back from documenting a 250 foot incline shaft with a boatload of dynamite in it. Okay, down there is uh, Bob in the bottom. Yeah, this is pretty neat, Laura. I mean, talk about remote Nevada. Wow. So, looks like we've got old workings here with an old adit, and then higher up, they brought in a bulldozer and uh, did some surface work. So, this uh, waste rock pile I'm standing on right here is relatively large, so let's take a look. Maybe this will be something interesting. Look at that, there's no footprints at all to get around the fence. So no one's been in this mine for a long time. All right, let's turn the lights on. There we go. Oh, so good to be able to stand up in a mine. Let's see. Yep, see I just got done, we just got back from uh, that incline shaft. I mean, I gotta fix my light, my lights, guys. Give me one second. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. Well, we got a little brown bat. Hello, little brown bat. Barbed wire, an old sign, probably the keep stay out, stay alive. Yep. Hey, right dear. I'm just going to have to use my forward facing lights. Oh, my gosh. Look at the kaolinite in here. Laura, look at this. Is that creepy or what? <laughs> wow. And I thought I'd seen a lot of creepy things, but that's... Uh, that's creepy. That's pretty creepy. Look at this stuff come... You can't even... Don't... I mean, it's don't this touch. is total operation right now. It's like playing the game Operation. <laughs> Don't touch the sides. Otherwise the alarm's gonna go off. Wow, look at the kaolinite coming in in this place. Yee. Um, I'll tell you what, hang back, Laura. All right. Let me risk my life first. Look at this, it's just scaling right off of here. I'm gonna see, let me get around the corner here. See if it's worth it. I think it dead ends. Let me look before you come. Probably a big old pack rat. Look at that big old juicy pack rat. Yeah, it dead ends. All right. Well, hey, Mr. Pack Rat. What's your name? Can we come take a closer look at you, huh? Oh, you're just a juicy. You're just plump and juicy, look at you. Right there. Big old plump and juicy Jack Pack Rat. He's like, what are you doing in my house? Leave me alone. Turn it around. All right. Let's get out of here. This thing's a mess. Egads. Did you take some pictures of that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No one's been in this mine because they're not dumb enough like me to do it. <laughs> Get me out of here. <clears throat> Yikes. All right. All right, guys, there's, 
the map is showing one more. So let's go try to find that one. See what he's all about. We'll see you over there. All right, we're higher up on the hill. Take a look off in the distance out there. You'll see that there was an old mill site. You can barely make it out down there in the bottom. So we've come up another maybe 75 feet higher on the hill. You can see where they were up here with those, this big bulldozer. And we got another one. It did, the map did show two. All right. Well, let's get past the velvet rope and see what this one's all about. Uh, let's look. So we got a barrel. Any rattlesnakes? Nope. We got some... Uh, Is that scat? Yeah, that's pretty big. All right, let's get some lights on here. Got an old table sitting here. Anything in the coffee can hiding? Nope. All right. And this one is just as tall as the last one. All right, poke on up in there, any glowing eyes? No. What's this, a giant snake? No. Piece of pipe. Pretty modern. Yeah, pretty modern. We got a bat. The ground is really foofy. <laughs> Not seeing any um, footprints at all. This one's in better shape than that last one. Good grief. That was a horror show. Another bat. Yep, this is all porphyry, porphyry material from uh, an ancient caldera is what we had here. All right, it uh, went up that way and stopped. Turned to the right, it keeps on going. Down here, so this mine must have been getting water in it because, see, they built a bulkhead to hold water back and then they put the pipe in place right there so that they could run water out of the mine. Maybe the ranch ranchers in the area were doing that. All right, we got a split and another little cute bat. Um, I don't know, I guess we'll go to the right. Let's go to the right. Goes up there and stops, and we're gonna have, I just saw another pack rat hide in that hole. Somebody, 908, yeah, they surveyed this. I can see footprints went up that direction. I know where this is gonna go. This is gonna go, uh, you remember we saw higher on the hill? Yeah, there's that a- Vertical shaft or yep. something like that. That's where this material is probably coming down. Yep, see? There's an ore pass right there. Probably stuff from coming down from the, that, that vertical shaft we saw higher on the hill. All right, turn it around. We're not going that way. <sighs> Do you notice that? Pack rat uh, nest back there had a piece of tin foil in it. Yeah, they like shiny things. You suppose he was uh, trying to impress his lady friend. His lady from friend. One of the local ladies. Yeah. He's like, oh, look at how shiny my nest is. And another bat. Lots of bats in this mine. Yeah, pack rats are like crows. All right, stop here a second. We got one going to the left. We'll come back and explore that. Let's stay on this one for now. Smells pretty good in here. It smells pack ratty, but air quality is decent. See, there's another nest right there. And it goes up and stops with a bat. That's it. Okay, turn it around. Oh, I'm tired, Laura. It's been a big day. It's been a long day. Turn in, turn in to the right. Yeah, we were like, we just finished up with that incline. Like, okay, time to go home and get something to eat.
No, yeah. but then we saw other yeah. <laughs> other things on the map that we, of course, had to go see. Yep, we couldn't resist. See, see what they were. We saw waste rock piles and was like, okay, mm -hmm. we're going to go check that out. We can't resist. Getting stinky up here. Stinkier, stinkier, stinkier. And all we got is a pack rat nest. That's it. All right. Turn it around. Darn. I couldn't believe how much dynamite was in that mine. That was... Crazy. That was impressive. Crazy. That's the most dynamite I've seen in a mine in a while. I don't think I've ever seen that much dynamite in a mine before. <laughs> yeah. And there was that tin of... I'm sure it had blasting caps in it. Yeah. Yeah. Mercury fulminate caps. Uh-uh, I ain't touching that. Especially when it's just sitting over there by that... Uh, by the dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And safety fuse. Mm-hmm. There's everything down there. But those inclines, when we rope those inclines, boy, they wear me out. All right. Did we, uh... That one, yeah. Oh, that was just that exploratory. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Oh, here's the bottom of a... Look at this. That's an, the bottom of an axe handle. Yeah, it is. And on the bottom, the person's initials. See that? KP or KD. Oh, let me get it in the light here for you guys. Can you read? It's look like maybe a... K or a W, WT, TW? Yeah. It's like a W one way and maybe a T the other. But it looks like they sawed it off. See? Mm -hmm. they, it, was, it sawed off. Huh. All right. Well, I think the next thing we're going to do, we'll just go down and uh, take a look at this mill site uh, where they were processing some of this ore. See what that's all about. We'll see you down there. All right, I'm going to show you the mill in a second. But before I do that, here's something you don't see every day. What is this? You ever seen anything like it before? Never. I have never seen anything like this before. Just a massive pile of whatever these are. Every single one has five holes and every single one is filled is it ore i don't think I, is no. it concrete it doesn't really look like concrete but maybe no it's really light is it, is it some kind of oh it's it's super light and fluffy guys look at this it like it weighs nothing um it's like a, it's it's like a it's like that material that you would find uh, in uh, that crucibles are made out of. Let's go around this direction. Huh? Anything hiding over here? Just more of them. We got a real mystery on our hands. I've never seen anything like this. And here's a whole bunch more going that way. A lot of bulldoze work going on around out, out here. See, this has all been bulldozed into a pile. So we're only like back in the 40s or 50s. Okay. The mill site was right out there, just to the right of old Bob. Let's go this way real quick. What a mystery. Someone in the comment section has to know what these things are. For, for a second there, I thought that they may have been like the wheels for part of a, a, uh, a conveyor belt system. But I, now that I see that the, each and every single one is filled with 
you know what I'm thinking Laura I think what we got going on here is these guys were repurposing these and 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 using them as like a crucible yeah so it's some kind of a homemade crucible thing um good giant crucible for firing for firing or yeah yeah all right yep drop down the comment section give us your best guess all right we're gonna jump back into bob the mill is right over there we'll see you over there all right guys i'm gonna hand the camera over to the lovely miss laura here and uh she's gonna walk you through the mill site and uh show you everything <laughs> Well, so far we haven't seen a whole lot of evidence of years except for the modern day miners. Um, as far as when they first discovered this area, we're still kind of looking for clues. We thought we saw a uh, trash pile down below from above. <laughs> Concrete stairs. Concrete stairs. I get to go up them first. Hey, that's pretty slick, huh? They have a handrail too? Yeah, even has a little handrail. Oh, I kind of like that, that's convenient. Pretty sweet. Did you find up there anything? I find a nice uh, sitting nice spot. Nice sitting spot? Yeah, good place to take in the view on this lovely Nevada afternoon. What else we have around here? Well, let's see, go all the way up and then we'll work our way back down. So, out this way, the road came up from down in the bottom so that they could swing the trucks right through here and dump in. And the old, uh, the barrels or whatever they are over there. Yeah. Off on the right. And the mine would have been higher up on the hill, kind of directly in front of me. That was the, the road that we took. And then looking back down, yeah, this is the back side of the mill. It looks, doesn't look real old. No. It's we, pretty, pretty modern. I'm saying 50s. Yeah. Now look off over here, Laura. Look this way. Down in the bottom over there, there's a massive pile of something. Yeah. Where that dirt is. There's a big trash dump pile there. And as I look in the bottom of this wash, they bulldozed uh, two big piles for holding water. So they had that all dammed up at one time so that they could put a pump down there, bring it back and do a recirculatory system. Yeah, use it here at the mill. Yep. But the question is, is what were they running through this thing? I mean, they didn't pull enough ore out of those two adits we just showed you guys to, to, to warrant building a big fancy mill like this. So where the no. heck was it coming from? I think I know. It was coming from all of that, those bulldozer workings up there. That's what they were processing. Yeah. All right, so let's, hop, let's go back to Bob. We'll go through the sagebrush down here and we're gonna get a closer look at this big old dump. See what's, see if we can't uh, date try it. And, uh, yeah, see if age, we can date anything. Date this mine. Yeah. All right guys, we'll see you down there. All right, there we go. So you can look high up on the hill up there. You see all that tan material. That's where we started this episode out at. That's where the two adits were and all of the bulldozer cuts. Then we worked down the road, went that direction way off in the distance up there. You can see all of those, what we're calling the big crucible looking things. Good old Bob sitting here in the desert. Yeah, you're looking good today, Bob. And then over here is that pile of, it's looking like it's gonna be the same thing. But we'll head over here and take another look. 
the uh, the bulldozer that was out here, Laura, it was running over these. See how they're all crushed? Yeah, that's why they're all flattened. Yeah. And making making room for more of them. Yeah, look at this. He they they laid them out here, and then they ran over the top of them with the bulldozer. Yep, that's what they did. You can see all the crush marks from the tracks. Okay, guys, this is a real mystery. Now notice, what's the difference between these and those up there? These ones aren't filled. They're not filled. It's got to be what they're doing. It's a repurposed, some kind of a weird repurposed crucible thing. Because there's the mill right up there past Laura. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, you're going to get that in Nevada. Nevada has lots of mysteries. Here, Laura. Point that towards me. All right, guys, that was fun. Yeah, you never know how a Wednesday episode is going to... How a Wednesday episode is going to play out. I mean, um, some, some days we hit it out of the park. Others days, not so much. But, eh, I thought this was interesting to turn the cameras on. All right, well, we've got something extra special for you this coming Saturday, so hang in there. Saturdays are always the big mines and the cool stuff and rope work and ladders. And oh my gosh, Laura and I have just been going crazy with these mines this spring. Thanks for coming along on this episode. I really appreciate it, guys. And we'll see you again this coming Saturday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.